What's up guys, it's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another fabulous Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create low poly uh, effect uh, and it's pretty much using shapes, triangle shapes to create a cool illustration. And I'm gonna be using a Black Panther because that is my favorite animal. You know, this animal right here that you see on the screen and uh, it's a pretty cool uh, photo here. So. If you guys want to try and do this with this photo, I will post the link for that photo in the description for you guys to check out. And uh, this um, this uh, this effect works best with uh, front-facing images. So if you're taking a picture of something and it's like symmetrical, then like even on both sides, then it's gonna be easier because you can just do half and then just flip the other half to the other side, and then it'll just give you a it's like a shortcut. In this case, it is asymmetrical, which is not even on both sides. So I'm gonna have to do more work for this. But if it is, all you have to do is just do half of it and then flip it to the other side, and you're done. Um, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing it full, uh, the whole the whole thing. So it will take a lot of time. So guys, this is a very long tutorial, not the tutorial itself, but when you're doing it, it's gonna be it's gonna take at least an hour, depending uh, how complex your image is and how much detail you want to put into the image. So let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to be go ahead before we start uh we're going to go ahead and duplicate our background so just make a copy of the background by pressing command j or control j sorry if i go really fast in this tutorial i'm starting to make tutorials a little bit uh faster because i don't know a lot of people want to get to want me to get straight to the tutorial so just press command j and that will make a copy of our background so now you're on layer one um so we're gonna go over to photoshop and preferences and now if you're on a windows computer this is very similar all you have to do is go into the settings, I think, or the file and then preferences. But if you're on a Photoshop or if you're on a Mac, then just go over to Photoshop and go to preferences and go over to guides, grid and slices. Uh, so click on that. And before I actually do this, press uh, command R to go to the rulers, the shortcut for the rulers. Or let me move this over here. Or you can go over to view and then where it says rulers, make sure that's checked and make sure snap is also checked. You can also press shift command semicolon for that shortcut. So make sure those two are checked and want to go ahead and go over to Photoshop, preferences, and go over to guides, grids, and slices. Um, all right, make sure it's enabled though. Uh, let's see, uh, grid. So go to show and then grid. So it's command and then apostrophe. So it's going to look like that. Uh, okay, cool. So now I'm gonna go over to Photoshop, preferences, and then guides, grids, and slices. So once we're here, everywhere it says grid line, every, I'm gonna put in 20. Yours may be like five, I think. So I put in 20, this will just make it bigger. You can go 50 if you wanted to. But 20 is, I think, perfect. Subdivisions is one. Uh, so if you do like four, it's a subdivision on each square. But I'm gonna do one because I only want one square. And uh, make sure this is set to pixels, and it's going to be set by inches as default. So make sure it's on pixels, and the color is gray. You can choose like red or any color you want. Um, I'm gonna be doing like a like a like a very light red um, or like a pinkish sort of color. I think that just makes it. Um, it's just easier so you can see where you're putting your points because this uh, Black Panthers are black and. And gray well in this image so if I were to choose gray I wouldn't be able to see right so that kind of you know depends on the image so go ahead and click OK and once we've done everything we're gonna go and make sure we're still on our layer one because we made our uh, our duplicate so now we're gonna go over to the top one right here <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go and select polygonal lasso tool so click on that it's gonna look like this and go to the top where it says anti alias <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce that so if you guys do know how to pronounce that post it in the comments section below make sure that's not checked and i will just make sure everything uh like when you're making uh like when you go like this it doesn't whoops it doesn't leave um space in between each triangle okay so great so now i'm gonna go ahead and start with the eye i'm gonna make um triangles around the eye going towards the center now keep in mind if you add more uh shapes it's gonna make it more detailed the, the bigger the shapes the less detailed the image is so because the eye is a more detailed feature you want to add more shapes so 
I'm gonna start right here, and because our thing is on snap, it will snap to each um, look corner. Okay. So, whoops! I just turned on my PS3. <laughs> I just turned on my PS3. I'm gonna turn it off right now. But uh, click this right here, and uh, so you have this one right here, and then here, and you want to go just make some random shapes, like click this one right here, and then this one right there. So once you have made your triangle, want to go over to filter, go to blur, and then average. Okay. And that will just fill it with a like the background color and make it a flat color. So flat color, <laughs> not fat color. And then press uh, Command D to deselect. Make it bigger so you guys can see. So now I'm gonna click on one of these sides. It can be any, but make sure it's on. You know, it's like from here to here, here to here, or here to here. Don't start over here. You can do that, but it's better if you start. In, uh, in one corner like this and just kind of I don't know make sure you're doing triangles too <laughs> you don't want to be making squares because it's you know that one little square out of all the triangles you made it's gonna look a little weird so again press command F for a shortcut instead of going over to filter blur that would just take forever so this is how it's looking and if you want to see how you're doing just press command and then the uh, quotation marks or the comma I believe no it's the it's a quotation mark and I will just uh, disable the, the uh, grid so you guys can see what you're doing. So again, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna pause it here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back once I have finished the whole thing, which is gonna take a long time. You can see how I'm doing right now. If I go back uh, here, you can see my shape. So I'm gonna just go around the, the eye, and once I get more to the skin, this is where I make my shapes bigger because I don't want that to be very detailed. Depending on the image, that is all up to you. I would say if you're a beginner to this, then I would suggest uh, starting small, like a face or something, or something even smaller. I don't know, like a, I don't know what it is, but it will take some time, so just keep that in mind. So I'll come back to you guys once I have finished. Alright guys, so once you're at this step where you're about to do the eye, uh, you want to go ahead and just continue doing uh, this part right here, between the, the, eye, the actual eye, the pupil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and quickly just finish this piece right here, and Command F, Command D, uh, so you just want to do this really quick, uh, whoops, I'm going to stop that up, <laughs> so I'm just going from edge to edge, and uh, I'm done here. Alright, so I am done. So this is um, where our eye rest looks like behind our background. You can see how we're doing right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is re-enable our uh, grids. And between this four box right here, you can see this little box right here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and start from uh, outwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to right, click right here. This will, um, you know, the black part of the eye, which is the pupil. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just click like this and do half of that square. So it's going to be like this. So now what I'm going to do is make sure our foreground color is black or whatever color the pupil is. Of course, it's always black or it could be white. It just depends on the image, really. Hold down uh, uh, was it Option Delete or Alt Delete and now we'll fill it with black. So just do that again. Just make a half a circle or half a circle, half a triangle between the squares and then hold down Option Delete. So I'll just keep doing that. And it should look something like um, like this. Just finish this. So I'll hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and delete. And there is our pupil. So this looks really cool. Um, so you can really point out the details of the uh, Black Panther you can see right here. So again, uh, I'm gonna continue doing this. So if you guys want to go ahead and wa uh, continue watching it, that'll be awesome. And uh, yeah, just make sure where you go to view and rulers and snap is checked or else you're going to be messing everything up. So just keep in mind, make sure you're doing triangles, not squares or rectangles. Uh, so you're going to edge to edge, okay? So just from here to here to here to here. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue, guys. Peace out. Alright guys, I am finally done. As you can see, <laughs> it's not the best artwork, of course. It's just I kind of made this a little fast so you guys wouldn't get bored. But, uh, this is my finished result. My hand hurts. I spent like an hour and a half on this. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the finished result. result. If you spent more time with it, of course, it will look way much better than this. This is just a, just like a, just like a bleh of <laughs> a design on here. So, Again, you can always make, uh, make you know you know the the, the artwork better, but uh, I kind of went through it and uh, yeah. So if this helped you in any way, then please leave a rating below in the rating section. Leave a comment if this uh, if you like this video or if you want more videos like this. And uh, I mean, I can show you the kind of like the before and after. Of course, I could have done a much better uh, a much better uh, you know. I could have done it better, and you can see there's more detail over here than over here, on the, on the left side than on the right side, um, and I didn't take that notice. So, you know what I would do? Start with the mo where you're gonna be adding more detail. So in this case, it would be the eyes, the other eye, the nose, and then the mouth, and then kind of make your way outwards. I wasn't doing that properly, <laughs> which is probably why I ended up like this. So, just keep that in mind, um, and uh, yeah, so. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out, guys.